the reason why I like Kevin Samuels and how he would call out black women is because I'm Puerto Rican. And so we have like similar problems where we're out here absolutely prepared to curse out and fight men and then complaining that we're single. Meanwhile, our kids suffer because of it. And like me as a minority woman, I'm like, no way. Like I can figure this out. So I had to learn how to not be argumentative. Like I was, when I was first with my, my husband, we were dating. Like it took a long time for me to stop being rude because that was my baseline. And I had already done some work on it, okay? So this is like really sad that I, I did work to be less rude just to be like, eh, you need to do more. But that I don't talk any, I did not talk any differently than the women in my family that came before me. I thought it was normal. And I didn't know that when you disrespect men, they don't feel love. But once I figured that out, I was like, well, that's not nice. Yeah. I'm like, okay, well, I want him to feel like I love him. Okay, Allie, show me your ring. Oh, here. Now, tell me what you do for a living. Oh, I love my husband. <laughs> and how did you how did you get that awesome job? Well, I became a better human being, and I became feminine, and also shocking, submissive. So that was the secret. So what are your tips to women that want to be a housewife? To embrace it, it's an actual job. You just can't get it in the public or private sector. Like you need, you need a man to hire you for it, but that's okay. Because if you think about it, you submit to your boss, who makes you clean stupid shelves at your retail job, right? Like, wouldn't it be better if you were cleaning your own shelves at home? You know what I mean? And your, and your boss wants to sleep with you in a good way. In a good way. <laughs> and where where do you meet the... Right, so... um, So, as you can see in these videos, you have this woman, right? And um, she's an Ephraimite woman, right? So, she's an Israelite. And she's, ta she's speaking about being a submissive woman, right? And, um... And she was actually demonized on the internet, right? Um, for making these these statements that she's making in these videos, right? A lot of a lot of these modern day so-called modern day women, um, sh um, despise her, right? And they they made a lot of um harsh comments towards her, Zalaki, and pretty much, um, I believe they call it a a pick me, right? But they pretty much made it look as if being a submissive and a feminine woman is something to be looked down upon, right? Because they have these um. Um, they're they're Americanized, and most most of the women that 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 pretty much was getting on her were um Israelite women, so called black women. You see, right? But the thing is, the Most High God ordained it to be this way, right? And before we go into the scriptures, I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakadash, right? And um, I want to dive into the scriptures, right? And let's get a classic, um, Ephesians, the fifth chapter. Right, so this is Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 22. It says, wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, right, as unto the Lord, right? And wives are supposed to be submissive. They're supposed to submit unto their husbands as unto the Lord. So the same way we submit ourselves unto the Lord, the wives are supposed, supposed to submit themselves unto their husbands. That's what the scriptures say, right? But, and that's how you know um, this road is um, designed to be contrary to what the scriptures say. Right. Even though women are supposed to be submissive, women are supposed to be feminine. Um, the way it's set up in this world and, and chiefly in America, right in Babylon, it's set up for a woman to be above the man. Right. For a woman to have that that um, that that high paying job above the man. Right. For the woman to get all these different. Um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They get help from the government. And, and, and certain things you have to they have to X out the so-called black man to receive this these benefits. You see? So they feel like they don't need a man. And and they feel like even if they have a man, they don't have to submit unto that man. Right? So um like I said, if you go through the comments, you will see a lot of women pretty much bashing her for for um making these statements. When really um being a submissive woman is is how the most I got ordained to be. Right? And 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 you can see. She made points. Um, the one point she made is that um, you have women that's willing to to. She didn't. She's not gonna. She didn't use the exact terminology that I'm about to use, but pretty much she went into you have how how women are willing to submit to their boss, right, to the so-called white man in the workplace and wash shelves for him and and do all of this cleaning and things of that matter, and they're not bucking up against their boss, 
But when it comes to their husband, they're not willing to submit unto his order. You see? But when they step out and go to work for this white man, they're willing to listen to everything that he says. They're smiling in his face. Right? Yes. Right? Um, thank you, boss. Yes, boss. Things of that matter. Right? <laughs> But when it comes to um, Eve dealing with her own husband in her own household, she's bucking up against him. I'm not washing those dishes, nigga. Right? I cooked last night, nigga. You go cook. This is this is the um, modern day so-called black woman. And that's what the scriptures say in 1 Timothy, the fifth chapter, that um, Eve is already um, roughly paraphrasing the so-called black woman. Um, women are already turned aside unto Satan. Right? Our women are Americanized. They're Westernized. Right? That's why they... You see, if you if you have social media and you have these women that's supposed to supposedly supposed to be in the truth, all they do, a lot of them, all they do, I'm gonna say, I said a lot of them, right? Not all the women that's in the truth. You have some sincere women that actually live by the word, but a lot of the women they sit on Facebook all day, um, bashing things that the Most High God ordained, right? You have women in the truth that say I'm not letting a, a man rule over me, but that's what the scriptures say. That's Genesis the third chapter. Let's bring that out. You have um um. Woman that'll tell you, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not um, living up under no man, right? No man is not about to just direct my whole life. But that's how the Most High God ordained it to be, right? The women were just created to be a help meet for the man, you see? And, um, and I believe, let me, see, let me see real fast, let's go into this word woman. Um, it may be the etymology. So like it, bro, with me. Let's go into the etymology of this word woman. Um, check this out, right? This is what I want. Woman, this is the etymology of the word woman. This is adult female human. Um, it says old English women, literally woman, man, alteration of with men, plural. This is what I want. It says woman, a female servant. That's literally what a woman is, right? And a lot of Eve is probably closing out this video. What does he, what does he mean? Woman means servant. That's literally what that word is going into. And that's literally what the Most High God created a woman to be, to be a servant unto her husband, right? But it's not something to be demonized and looked down upon. You see how highly the sister, right? And she is a sister. She's an Ephraimite, as she stated in the first video. You see how highly she spoke of being a housewife, right? And it's in, in, in submission to her husband, you see? So when you go into the etymology of this word, it literally means a female servant. So going back to the scriptures, I'm going to bring out this in Genesis, the third chapter. In verse 16, it says, And to the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception, and sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. That's plain, right? The, the, it was ordained for the man to rule over his wife, right? It was ordained for the wife to be in submission to her husband, right? She was, she's a help me. She's a servant to her husband, you know? And this is Genesis 2 and verse 18. It says, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? The Lord Power said, It is not good that a man should be alone. I will make him and help me. And who is that help me that the Most High God made for um for Adam? It was Eve. You see? So that's how it was always ordained to be for the woman to be that help me, to be that submissive um woman. And it's and it's a blessing for a woman to be submissive, right? It's not a blessing only for the woman, but for a man to have that submissive woman. Right? And um, let's go to the book of Sirach, the 26th chapter. Right? And in Sirach 26 and verse 1, it says, Blessed is the man that hath a virtuous wife, for the number of his days shall be double. A virtuous woman rejoiceth her husband, and he shall fulfill the years of his life in peace. You see? So, peradventure, right? Because we're only going by the videos and the things that she's stating. But peradventure, she's actually living what she's, what she's saying. Right? Her husband is going to rejoice. Her husband is going to be blessed. Because he could come home to a woman that's not being a, a damn demon, right? A woman that's not being a damn nigga woman, you see? And um, I want to jump down to the 16th verse. It says, verse 16, As the sun, when it ariseth in the high heaven, which is a, um, a beautiful sight, right? It says, so is the beauty of a good wife in the ordering of her house. So it's a beauty, it's a beauty to be a good wife that orders her household, right? Not in a way that a man sets things in order. You understand? That's not what it's talking about. It's speaking about her cleaning, right? Her waking up in the morning and say, okay, I'm going to cook breakfast. Then I'm going to put the kids in the bath and I'm going to do this. I'm going to iron my um, my husband's clothes. That's what it means when it says a, a, um, a woman in ordering her, her household, right? Making sure things are in order, 
right? My husband Mill is going to be prepared when he gets home at this time. And I'm going to have on his, um, his favorite movie or his, his favorite TV, whatever it may be, right? I'm going to have his favorite um, liquor ready for him, right? And this is what it's speaking about. It says, I'm going to read that again. It says, as the sun when it ariseth in the high heaven, so is the beauty of a good wife in the ordering of her house. So it's a beautiful thing for a good wife to be able to set her house in order in, um, in, in that way, you know? So I wanna, I'm want i going to play the video and I'm going to um, most likely close out, right? I'm going to play it again. Hey, Ali, show me your ring. Because she made some good points, right? She made some solid points. Oh, here. Now, tell me what you do for a living. Oh, I love my husband. <laughs> and how did you how did you get that awesome job? Well, I became a better human being and I became feminine and also shocking, submissive. Right, so she said, hey, she had to humble down because once again, she's an Israelite, right? She's a she's a Eve, you know, right? But she said she had to um pretty much humble down. She had to become feminine, right? And she had to become submissive, right? Because in, in the first video that I played, she stated that she was pretty much bucking up against her man because she learned that from her her family members, right? But she learned that she had to humble down and become that feminine woman, you know. No. That was the secret. So what are your tips to women that want to be a housewife? To embrace it. It's an actual job. You just can't get it in the public or private sector. Like you need you need a man to hire you for it. But that's okay. Because if you think about it, you submit to your boss who makes you clean stupid shelves at your retail job, right? Like wouldn't it be better if you were cleaning your own shelves at home? You know what I mean? And your and your boss wants to sleep with you in a good way. In a good way. <laughs> and where where do you meet these men? Well, I think women should work for the men that they want to pursue. I know that sounds crazy, but it's really easy. So if you think about it, like you want a lawyer, right? So then you should be a paralegal. Or if you want a dentist, then you should be a dental hygienist. But these are considered, I guess, high, high value status professions. But I think that's a really good model that not enough women utilize. Because women will bully the woman who is the secretary that married the doctor, okay? But who has the last laugh? Like her in her McMansion with her husband who's high <laughs> and the baby. Like that's that's who has last laugh. Right. And on a spiritual level, the submissive woman in these times are gonna have the the last laugh. The woman that's submitting to a um a sincere um elect man of the Lord, she's gonna have the last laugh. Why? Because like the like she just said, she's she's in a mansion and that's all um physical and carnal things, but on a spiritual level, she's gonna be in the kingdom of heaven. You see? Because she she listened um and and follow the ordinances of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? So Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rukakadash, right? And um, Shalom Yasha Allah.